Hello everybody, this is Design and Technology. Today we're going to be looking at some Minecraft EDU. One of the challenges I've been experiencing is trying to come up with a way to create a pyramid using code. My first experiment, let's go check it out. My first experiment was to create a basic pyramid. Let's get to a clearing. Let's see if we can get there fast. All right. So my first experiment was to make a basic pyramid. Now I was using code. Oh, this is the basic pyramid. I'm going to share the, uh, the code with you in a second. But here you have it. It's not perfect, but it is a pyramid. I'll show you the code what I used. Let's zoom out. For the first one, let's ignore what's on the side over here. We won't deal with that one right now. This one. What we did was we first laid down a single collection of blocks. And what we figured out was that this block has to be placed one away from me so that I don't get trapped inside the block. It's going to go on for how many? One, two. So it's 15 blocks, I think, by 15. From here, I had to figure out how I would be able to lay down another set but the challenge was that it had to be centered and in the center of this block I'll show you what I mean so the next one had to be two over on the X height with the Y had to go up one but then it had to reduce because the square is going to be smaller by one row on one side and one row on the other and that's where you get the the x on this side so the z the x and then i had to change the position of where the boxes would be set or the the blocks would be set and so i got this so there's your first and second row. I repeated this and what I had was a pyramid. Now this was complicated in the sense that I had to do a lot of steps to figure this these numbers out and I had to keep on changing them. I wanted to automate it. So there's our pyramid. But I wanted to automate it. This is where the other code comes in. So based on how I figured out the numbers needing to change, I created some variables and I set them in motion. So let's look at it. I want a big pyramid. So what I've got here is there's going to be 50 blocks by 50 blocks for the base. It's going to be offset from my location by one. And then later on, it's going to have to change so that it would get taller. And what I did was these variables show up down here. Same, same code block as over here, but I created it with these variables so that they can change. And this is the outcome. So it goes all the way up to 1 block at the top and then it comes down now how does this apply to a classroom still trying to figure that out for geometry maybe grade 8 the interesting thing here is that if you look at how it's laid out and if you, you try to figure out an equation I'm still trying to look at the equation here but this would be 1 squared 
This one is 3 squared, so it gives you 9 blocks. This one's 5 squared, 25 blocks, and so on and so forth. So there's 7, 9, so it's all odd numbers that are squared. I'm sure someone could figure out the formula for that. But I wanted to share with you building a pyramid in Minecraft EDU. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below if you liked it. And oh, definitely give me a thumbs up. Thanks.